Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If you want to see how I achieved this really pretty rose gold eye and berry lip, then just continue watching. Next, I'm going to take my Holy Grail palette from Violet Voss and I'm going to take the shade Transition and buff that right above my crease. Next, I'm going to take the shade Hashtag from that same palette and blend that right on top of Transition. And now I'm just going to blend the two together so everything remains seamless. You don't want any harsh lines in your eyeshadow. <laughs> blend it out, girl. Next, I'm going to take the shade Brownie Points from the same palette and just start defining my crease. I'm going to take a fluffy, fluffy brush from Morphe and just buff that out so everything is really blended out and diffused. Next, I'm going to go in with my shade Cat Nap from ColourPop Cosmetics. And now I'm just deepening my crease a little bit more with the shade Teddy Bear from the Violet Voss palette. Now I'm in going into another Violet Vice palette, um, the Laura Lee collaboration, and I'm using the shade Lou. It's just a black shade, just to deepen my outer V a little bit more. I'm sorry guys, I didn't realize I was out of frame whenever I was recording this, so just bear with me. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm going back into that catnap shade. I just wet my brush with a little bit of my Urban Decay Cosmetic Setting Spray. going in and making sure everything is very blended out with this small pencil brush. I kind of lost my crease there and wanted to bring it back. Okay, so now I'm going in with the shade Weenie because I wanted my eye to be more rose gold. I wasn't getting enough of that color on um, payoff from Catnap. mostly focusing on putting this on my inner corner in the middle of my lid and then I'm gonna take my finger and blend it out so everything still remains very seamless
going back in and making sure everything is very blended out. So my camera died on me. Um, I just finished up my foundation and put on my highlight and now I'm just blending that out with a wet beauty blender. Set that with my Ben Nye powder. Now just use enough to um, set my under eye. I don't use too much, um, and I just blend out what is there. I focus mostly right under my eye because I tend to get some creasing there with the LA Girl um, Pro Concealer. So I just blend that out really well and just press it in, and you should be all good. Okay, so now I'm just taking the shade brownie points and I'm gonna buff that under my eye just to bring some smokiness out. Okay, so now I'm going back in with that shade of blue and I'm above that right on top of my um, waterline. Just so I can get some definition back onto my eyes. It looked a little bit flat. And now I'm just gonna blend those together. Now this is my Tardiest Pro Double Ended Eyeliner. I'm using the um, the stick side to um, line my outer V of my bottom waterline. I didn't really want to do a winged liner, so I just tight lined my eye and did a little, um, you know, little cat out on the inside. Sorry guys, my um, SD card actually was full, so I didn't record any of that. So I have on my um, contour and now I'm putting on my blush. It's ColourPop Prenup. I'm just using a Luxie angled brush to apply that. Okay, so this is my ColourPop highlighter in the shade Glow Up. I'm just going to take my Lexi stippling brush and swirl that into the product. This is my all-time favorite highlighter. I'm so sad that they discontinued it. I 
using a color payoff that I wanted with the brush. I just put a little on my finger and I'm going to blend that out. And next I was going with the rose gold kind of theme and this was very golden. So I went in with my ColourPop Monster Highlight. It's kind of like a duo chrome pink highlighter. Um, I don't know if you can see it on camera. I'm going to try to swatch it for you guys so you can try to see it. It's super pretty. If you're a melanin queen and you're worried about whether this shade will look right on you or not, I highly, highly suggest that you try it and get it. It's only 8 bucks, and I think it's a really great highlighter and highlighter topper as you'll see. Yes, girl. Look, see? Okay, so now I'm just going to use my small real technique sponge and just put some on my um, Cupid's bow just to define my lips. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my NYX Cosmetics Espresso Lip Liner. Now I'm going to take my Ordained Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in the shade Dahlia. I'm just going to put that on the perimeter of my lips because I want to do an ombre lip today. Next, I'm going to take my Nude Sticks um, Stick Lipstick in the shade Whisper and put that in the center of my lips. I'm just blot my lips together and get that to blend out while my lipstick is still wet. this out as much as you would like to until you get the desired ombre effect that you would like and then you're all done okay so this is the end product i really hope that you guys enjoyed my video and love this look as much as i did i thought it was pretty simple and a very easy effortless valentine's day look Please like, subscribe, and comment on my video. I'll see you in my next video, guys. Bye.